I must say, Zen browser is the most powerful, advanced and beautiful browser out there, which defeats every one of them to the last bit. At the beginning, it's really gonna be very frustrating and messy. But as the time will go, you're gonna gain some experience, learn how these things work around this browser and expand the knowledge on how to use it in your day-to-day -day life, how to customize it to the last bit. You're gonna fall in love with it. But it's gonna be really a long time. You might need to spend hours and hours trying to figure out simple things, just like Linux. And it has been a pretty interesting journey for me. Well, hello friends, I'm Um, and today we're diving the fantastic world of Linux, specifically to a browser, Zen Browser, which claims to be the most calmest, and it does not claim, but I'm gonna make a remark that it is the most customizable and powerful browser out there. And it is not even Chromium based. It is based on Firefox, but it allows you to do anything with it you want. You want to make it gorgeous, beautiful, you can do it. You, you want to make it powerful, you can do it. You want to indicate AI to every last bit of it, you can do it. But in return, you have to give it something way too valuable, even more valuable than money. You will have to give it time, a lot of time, to figure out simple things, understand simple but not so friendly and very complicated functions like MAD. This whole experience was really frustrating, but beautiful and interesting. So the whole thing started when I saw a video from Bog, and there I decided, let's go. I went to Google, searched Zen Browser, and got into the website, and there I found out that there's no specific Debian, RPM, or any distribution package out there. You can install whether by Tarball or Flatpak. When I opened the application, I was actually surprised about how caring the whole company of Zen Browser is. And the setup process was pretty calming, like the whole desktop gone white or gray. And the setup is pretty refreshing, calm, peaceful, sleek. And there I found out that it also supports background blurs. So I choose a set of colors, but I made a mistake and it didn't look quite good as I wanted. But yeah, it was really good. And just when the whole browser properly started, I was faced with a lot of already open tabs, links, pinned tabs here and there. And they were all dedicated to the Zen browser. There was Reddit, there was X, there was Google, YouTube, everything. And so I closed every one of them. And then I just, you know, just like a normal person, I went to YouTube, checked if the video is playing or not then gone through the settings, saw how things work inside this browser, are the, are the things different from Firefox or not, and then did some web browsing, you know the normal stuff. Then I went to the Reddit page where I found out that people have done gorgeous work with this and browsers. They've made it like the paradise of a person who uses web browser in its day to day life. Like most of the people use web browser, but like man, it was just the most beautiful web browser out there. Not mine, but theirs. The customization level was to the peak, the pinnacle. It was just like the perfect complement. If you are a Linux user, you gotta get the Zen browser. If you're a Linux riser, you need to rise the Zen browser as well. It was like the just how Linux is the most customizable and powerful operating system out there. Zen Browser is the most customizable and powerful web browser out there. And the fact that both of them are open sourced and they don't have any relations to Chromium or Google or any closed source thing. Yes, you can just go to the web browser and set Google as its default search engine, but you can also do with others like Duck, Go Duck, something like that. I have never used it, but I've seen it so much. But as I said, just like Linux, in the starting, you're gonna be really frustrated, messed up, and really hate the browser. And so did I. I was just really, really exhausted with it, so many features without having any idea of how to use everything. And the worst part, I did not even went to YouTube and learn the things just like I did with Linux. I wanted to go out in the open world and just use my own survival instincts in an unknown area. 
just like that i know it's very really, really foolish and childish but yeah that's what i did now zen browser really focuses on privacy like the whole thing felt so open it was like i knew every last bit of the web browser of what's going to happen with my data with me when i go to some website or use the browser as a whole i sort of felt relieved and secure safe and that was not just it the whole look and feel just like the website says the zen browser company says it's really a peaceful experience for me what was the tagline a calm experience something like that but then there were some problems i faced like real problems not the things i messed up on my own for example the performance of the browser oh man like the whole browser is pretty nice but the thing is the performance is not zen browser uses a lot of ram cpu and gpu even while when i was checking the performance using playing a game called clunker on the web browser and i even just turned on my performance mode which is like nvidia gpu only mode which uses dedicated gpu only for everything even at that i was getting like a fourth of performance what i used to get on chrome browser can you imagine like a fourth just 25% i'm used to get like 200 fps on this well chrome browser setup which i have as my day to day life as my day to day setup but on linux on zen browser i was having 50 fps with that it's just such a pain and even when it was not full resolution it was not even full screen it was only rendering just a small part of the screen and that's when the problem started to occur well after that i went to the settings explore where i can change the blur and themes and everything and i just found accent colors nothing else then i thought like yeah i might need some zen mods for that so i went to the website installed a lot of zen mods trying things but i could not see much difference like i do not have the expertise to go in depth and customize everything by myself just like a normal user and so i just want something like plug and play for you know starting the whole experience just like linux gnu desktop just like an example it's a really nice place to start linux but but for web browser which is this much powerful it needs a good starting point like a for, like a person who's using the web browser for the first time he'd want a good experience out of the box yes you should give the power the customization abilities the ability to change and customize every last bit of the web browser by ourselves but you also have to give a simple interface out of the box to get started because if the first experience the first impression of the web browser is not that good as you display on the website and that is why zen browser is not so popular as others i'm not expecting you to like this browser because of its looks customizations and everything but i want you to know that this browser is a really safe place to do anything you're going to really feel open while using the browser feel a little relevant and especially if you are a linux user a privacy conscious person then you're going to love this web browser and as the time will pass you're going to love the whole experience as well and with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll meet you next video till then i'm home signing out